Starting a lawn care company can be very challenging. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through some of the common things to consider when starting and growing your lawn care business. My name is Frank. I'm all about helping entrepreneurs and business owners start and grow their lawn care business. So, if you're looking to start and grow your lawn care business, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of my future videos. I'm often asked, what would I do differently if I was starting my lawn care business today? There are so many things to consider. Today, I'm gonna walk you through seven common things to consider when starting and growing your lawn care business. Number seven, market research. Make sure that your services are in demand for your geographical area. An easy way to do that is ask a friend, relative, and you can also call local lawn care companies and make sure that your services are in need for your area. If your family member or friends are using lawn care services, that's a pretty good indication that that service is in demand for your area. Number six, pricing. You wanna make sure that you're pricing your services correctly. You don't wanna to be too high and you don't wanna to be too low. When you're first starting out, pricing can be a little bit tricky. But don't worry, you'll gain experience over time. You're already one step ahead of the game. After all, you're here learning. One of the best ways to make sure you're not pricing yourself too high or too low is talk to people within that geographical area. Maybe it's your family members or friends that are currently using lawn care service providers and just simply ask them what are they paying. Worst case scenario, you can also call lawn care companies that are servicing that area and just flat out ask them, how much do you guys charge? Number five, trying to do too much at once. What do I mean by that? Well, you often see when lawn care service providers are first starting out, they're taking on too many things at one time. You don't wanna be mowing one day, doing tree service the next, and putting down the mulch or doing fence work on another day. Why is that? Well, each one of those services require a different skill set, as well as different types of equipment. When you're first starting out, you really want to niche down and be the specialist in what you do. But don't get me wrong, you can always add these services later down the road. But at first, I recommend that you niche down and be the best at what you do. Number four, understand your local and state tax codes as well as any permits that you might need for the services that you're providing. This is something that you really wanna to try to take care of from the get-go. This is not something that you wanna kick down the road and try to tackle later on. The longer you wait, the more of a problem this can be for you. Number three, create systems. Even if you're a solo operator, this is very important that you document and create systems from the get-go. Down the road, you're gonna hire employees and you wanna make sure that you have the systems in place in order to train your employees. This holds them accountable to your specific standards. Again, make sure you document everything and you create systems for everything you do. Number two, technology. Technology, technology. I can't stress to you enough the importance of embracing technology when starting and growing your lawn care business. I can tell you from experience, if you don't embrace technology, you're just making your job and life a lot more difficult. Technology can help you with routing, accounting, scheduling, and much, much more. I remember when I first started out and I was routing my lawns using Google Maps. This was a total nightmare as I grew my business. Sure, it's easy to do it when you have five, 10, 20 lawns, but try doing it when you have 200 lawns. Again, this is why you wanna embrace technology because it's gonna help you be more efficient and more profitable. So make sure you do this from the start. Number one, answer the phone. I can't stress to you enough the importance of answering the phone. Customers these days are very impatient. If you don't answer the phone, they're going down the list. And if they do that, guess what? That's your competitor. 
Think about it. You're spending all this money on advertisement, equipment, labor, just to grow your business. And many businesses fail because they fail to answer the phone. So my suggestion to you is really, really simple. Answer the phone. I truly want to see you succeed. I hope this video was helpful to you. That was just seven common things to consider when starting and growing your lawn care business. There are so much more to learn. And I'm here and I'm willing to share that with you. If you have any questions or if you'd like me to cover specific topics in future videos, please make sure to comment below. Also like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you're notified of future videos. See you next time, lawn care pros.